Well, I don't think so. It's an unpleasant kind of business. But um, uh, if this um, uh, gentleman was a lover of Great Britain or his country, he should have learned how to behave. So with us, it's, you know, it's, it's harming his country, not ours, because um, this isolated case will not um, make any difference uh, bet between us and uh, people of Great Britain. Are you satisfied with the conclusions of the conference on southern Rhodesia? Very much so, yes. What do you understand the British government will now do? Well, the British government will do... What, what they'll do is now to get in touch with uh, Mr. Smith of southern Rhodesia, um, have discussion with him, first to persuade him to uh, see the um, ascents and release some of these... Uh, uh, political uh, prisoners, such as Joshua and Como, uh, what you call him, and, um, uh, Reverend Chitole, and other uh, African political leaders. After he has uh, achieved that, then um, a conference, a constitutional conference, will, will, will be arranged uh, in which uh, all party, that is the European, African, and, 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 and others, if there, if there are others, would sit round a table and discuss the independence of South Rhodesia. Mr. Kenyatta, would you say that this Prime Minister's conference has strengthened or weakened the Commonwealth? This has weakened, and uh, no, not weakened, have strengthened the uh, Commonwealth relation. Because when you have many of these uh, countries represented in such a conference, then you establish a, a personal relation, a, a friendship. You get to know one another's. You get to know one another's problem. And by so doing, it is easy to, to solve many of our problems in various parts of Commonwealth. Because what we want, independent, we want, we want undiluted democracy in... in um, that part of uh, South, uh, South Rhodesia, that um, uh, the principle of one man, one vote, majority rule, this is a simple thing we ask.